Hi everyone, my name is Davo and I'm a Master of Education student at the University of British Columbia. Today I'll be showing you the demonstration of the Galileo thermometer. Over here we have what is called the Galileo thermometer. Uh, it wasn't invented by Galileo, but the principles that it works on uh, were discovered by him. So how does it work? Well, you can, as you can see, we have the glass on the outside with a fluid on the inside. This fluid is normally water mixed with ethanol. Uh, and inside, we have these small little balls, each one with a different colored liquid in it. Now, we have some here, which are from our old one, which broke. Um, you should be careful with these. They're very de delicate, and they can break. So if you look carefully at the ball, you can see that it's made of glass, and there's a colored uh, fluid inside. And right at the bottom, there's a tag with a temperature on it. And the way this works is that each of these little balls has a different density. And the densities are calibrated uh, by how much fluid is put in and the mass of the tag at the bottom. Uh, because density depends on the volume and on the mass. So each of these little balls has a density that's very close to the density of this fluid. Okay? And the density of this fluid changes with temperature. So um, I have some hot water here. Uh, not too hot though. Again, we don't want to break uh, this. So as I put this in the hot water, it starts heating up the fluid on the inside. As this fluid heats up, it expands, and its density decreases. Now, the reason um, this tag here is floating is because its density is matches or is equal to the density of this fluid. But as the fluid density decreases, then this will start to sink. You can see here it says 26 degrees. So that was the temperature of the outside. But as it starts to sink, we can see the temperature on the inside starting to increase to 28 degrees. And if we increased the temperature of the fluid even more, then its density would even decrease even more, and then it would start to go below the density of this ball, and then that ball would start to sink. So that's how a Galilean thermometer works. Thank you. Thank you.